Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.30. I am on my way to training. I literally just woke up, so my voice is so croaky. Um, I wanted to show you guys the sunset. I mean, the sunrise, because it was so pretty, but there was all these tradies next to my car that were, like, whistling and yelling at me. Love that. Love that for me. Love being a girl. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get to show you. But yeah, so I'm training and then after I'm going to do what I eat in a day. Now this has been my number one most requested video. So I just thought, you know what? I just need to do it. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys when I am a beetroot. Just finished training. That was hard, but so good. I love 12 rounds because it's the best cardio workout and you never get bored. And it's over so quickly. I go to the one in Bondi Junction in Sydney. For you guys that don't know, I live in Sydney, Australia. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to go home, make my standard breakfast smoothie. I have heaps of smoothies that I rotate, bleh, rotate around. Um, but today I'm gonna make my green one because I got this really, really good greens powder that I've been loving lately. So I'm gonna just chat a little bit about my diet it's not really a diet i don't like calling it a diet it's more like a lifestyle so i recently did a dna test that got sent off to america because um america has the technology for it and australia doesn't it cost about 400 australian dollars and anyway so you do like a little saliva test send it over and I don't know how it works, but it works. And they send back a result of what your body, what foods your body agrees with, what foods your body doesn't agree with, like what benefits you for weight loss, what doesn't benefit you, all that kind of stuff. And I got these two really big documents sent to me after about, it takes two and a half weeks. And they, um, oh, I hate when I'm talking to myself and someone's in the car next to me. Oh, and to the right, and to the right, perfect. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so it turns out my body thrives off protein. So my body needs lots and lots of protein, which is really interesting because last year I wasn't eating meat pretty much at all, maybe like fish every now and again. And my body changed so much last year than the previous year. I, no matter how much I was working out, no how no matter how clean I was eating, I just couldn't get toned. Like I was still soft for some reason. And obviously it's because I just wasn't eating enough protein. So that's one. So for the past month, I got the test results a month ago. So the past month I've introduced lots of protein. I have protein in every single meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Anyway, I've seen a huge, huge difference in my body since I've done it which is really, really cool. So obviously the test is super legit. Another thing that really just like cut me deep, deep to the core was that my body doesn't break down carbohydrates at all. Like it just stores it as fat. So that was really depressing. So all of breads, grains, wheat, all of that stuff I have cut out, which has obviously really, really helped my body i love bread i'm pretty sure we all love bread so it was a sad day when i read that anyway so that's just a little bit about my diet and what you're going to see my diet isn't super interesting obviously because it's really really clean also a little side note i'm not a nutritionist i don't have a diploma in this so please what's going to work for me isn't going to work for you you can try it if you want, but yeah, I just know there's people out there that's going to say a little something something because everyone always wants to say something. But anyway, I'm going to get home and start my smoothie making. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen. The first thing I have before I have any food is a shot of apple cider vinegar. And then I put some lemon one whole lemon in just some water and then I drink that after the apple cider vinegar so cheers ah. 
Now, a lot of people actually can't stand this stuff, but I love vinegar, so I really don't mind it, even though it is really, really strong. It's really good for immune system, digestion. I try and have a shot of it morning and night just to help everything digest. So we have that, and I'll just drink that this morning. And then for my green smoothie, so I've got, I'm gonna put half a banana, two pieces of pineapple. So banana and pineapple are both frozen. And I'm gonna use cucumber, spinach, coconut water, and this is the greens powder that I got from my health food shop. There was so many to choose from, so I asked the girls, like I just want the one with the most minerals and vitamins because not every day I get to, you know, eat as much veggies and stuff that I want to. So she told me that this one was the best, has vitamin A, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin D3, so much stuff. Um, and I've been really liking it. Some greens powder is like really, really disgusting. But this one is actually not too bad. So that's what I put in my green smoothie. I usually put avocado, but I actually don't have any avocado, which is Devo. And this is what is holding up my camera, my camera stand. This is the protein that I use. It was actually Josh's, but he just never used it. So I've started using it. So each... Um, serving is 24 grams of protein, which is really, really good. Like I said, I'm trying to get heaps of protein into my diet. So I usually have, I'll show you how much I use because it's pretty easy to put heaps of sugar in your green smoothies. So I just put two pieces of pineapple and then half of them. I put a lot of spinach. Got that. And then I just put a little bit of coconut water. Now it's super easy to get a coconut water that has a lot of sugar in it. And the one that I found that has the least amount of sugar is actually the Woolworths brand. And it actually tastes really, really good. It only has, per serving, it only has 6.1 grams of sugar. But it serves four, but I literally only use the tiniest bit, so it's not even that much. And then for the protein, which I have to take off my stand. I also got these really, really cute um, kitchen, I mean kitchen cooking books from Kmart. Still yet to try them. So I've got my greens powder. Delish. So this flavor is vanilla and it's so fluffy. Put the protein powder, greens powder, and I put three um, things of ice. So let's do it. And there we have it. My morning green smoothie. Oh my gosh. It tastes really good, just FYI. You can definitely taste the greens powder in it but the pro vanilla protein kind of like subsides that taste Jeez. so it's currently 2 30 and i am making my lunch now i have this salad probably every single day i'm very much a creature of habit so i love having the same stuff every day i love routine um, I forgot to put this on camera. I ate this about like an hour and a half ago. Just a can of John West tuna. Obsessing over tuna lately. Um, so I'll talk you through my salad. It's not that interesting. Pretty boring. But hey, you guys wanted to know. 
So I just have spinach, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and some avocado. I also have two pieces of halloumi that I pretty much fried. I forgot about them. Yeah, two pieces of halloumi. I'll cut that up and chuck that in. And I am going to cook some smoked salmon to add to it. I also make my dressing myself. I just use a whole lemon and then I put some apple cider vinegar in it. As I said before, apple cider vinegar really helps you to digest your food. So I'm gonna cook the salmon and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I've just added the halloumi and salmon, smoked salmon, and I also put sriracha sauce on it. I love spicy food. So I put a bit of that. And I also put a little bit of soy sauce on. And then for the dressing. I hate dry salads. Like I need it saturated in flavor. So there you have it. There is my lunch. I'm so hungry. I also have pretty much every single day I always have um, Remedy Kombucha, but this is their new one. It's actually coconut water and it has live cultures in it. So it's pretty much the exact same thing as kombucha, but with coconut water. And this is flavored passion fruit. It actually tastes so good. I'm really obsessed with kombucha. So I'll have that as well. I thought I might as well just eat with you guys and tell you a little bit about what's going on because I haven't really voiced anything about what's going on but pretty much what's been happening is Mali is sold out my brand and I have actually stopped working with the company that I originally did it with so at the moment I'm trying to find my own team to continue on the next collections and so forth so that's just a whole nother dilemma that I'm not really going to go into but you know you live and you learn currently Josh and I are waiting for our US visas to get approved because we're going to work in America for a couple of months which will be really good definitely want to try and get back into my modeling with the whole Mali thing I kind of took a step back from modeling just because I really wanted to focus on my brand but now that it's all sold out I figured I'm just going to try and get back in there because I kind of miss it a little bit and I miss traveling. A lot of you seem to be worried about Josh and I. That's the main thing that I've noticed. You guys are always like, um, where's Josh? Like, have you guys broken up? You're never in each other's videos anymore. We live together, but we obviously don't feel the need to put, any, put each other on each other's stories every single day. We are still very, very happy. We just extended our lease to this place, which I haven't even given you guys a tour yet. So maybe I'll make another video of my of our apartment tour. Um, yeah, just extended our lease for another 12 months because we love this place. So close to the beach and what else? Um, just life, really. I've been going back to Brisbane a lot more, where I am from. Um, spending more time with my family and stuff, which has been really good. Yeah, for the past couple of months, I've just had really, really bad anxiety. Like, really bad. It was like two weeks ago, I did a job and on my flight, I literally had a full-on panic attack. And I don't even know what about. Well, I guess that's kind of like what anxiety is. You don't really know what it's about or why you're getting it. It's obviously an underlying issue, but I'm not too sure what it is, but I've had it really bad when, when it comes to social events. And it's really weird because I never used to be like that, like at all. I've always been a very kind of like carefree person. I didn't really care about too much. 
and now yeah constantly i keep getting it and it's really annoying and i've never fully understood why people get anxiety i always thought it was really strange and now i just i sympathize with people that get anxiety because it's it's honestly the worst feeling in the world it feels like it's like a never-ending doom like you can't get out of it anyway so i'm just currently working through that i find what helps me is working out a lot sweating and eating like all the right foods so my gut health is at its best because that's where anxiety actually comes from it comes from your gut because all the feelings are in your gut so if your gut's right then your mind will be right so i'm working towards that as well I'll let you guys know how it goes i haven't had anxiety in like a week so that's promising Anyway, I don't really want to make this a mukbang, 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 whatever it's called, <laughs> which I still haven't done one yet. That's kind of weird being by myself. So I'm going to eat this in peace and I'll see you guys at dinner. So it's not dinner time yet, but I'm just making some green tea. I've been having heaps of green tea the past two weeks. I went, kind of went off it for a bit, I guess, just because it's been so hot. How cute are these mugs, by the way? I got them at Kmart. Hi, Kmart. Sponsor me. Love you. And so, yeah, I'm going to be having some green tea. And I'm also going to be having some of this slice that I've been making. So, it's a healthy chocolate slice. Um, I literally have to make it every two days because... Josh and I go through this like there's no tomorrow, especially Josh. He probably has like three pieces a day. Um, it's pretty much just almond meal, coconut oil, a little bit of agave syrup, and what else is in it? Just heaps of like chia seeds, hemp seeds, all that kind of stuff. So I normally have like one of those when I'm feeling something sweet or I'll have some like raspberries. So yeah, I'll be having that now. I had dinner really not dinner sorry i had lunch my apartment's on a main road so it gets a little bit loud sorry yeah i had lunch really late at like three o'clock it's now 4 30 and I'm not really hungry at all for dinner so we'll see how we go um i also want to show you guys i'm really proud of it i'm really obsessed with plants at the moment and I've also been growing my own herbs. So I've put mint in this. I like having mint with my green tea. It actually tastes really good. Try it. Um, so these are like my little herbs. We've got basil, onion chives, and mint. So the mint's been taken for a good run. And oh shit. And this is this isn't a herb, this is just my I think it's called like a Chinese money plant. It's supposed to bring good luck. It's out of control. It was like a housewarming present from one of our friends and it's going crazy. And I also just planted chili. So that would have been like a couple of, maybe five days ago. It takes just over a week to sprout. So hopefully it works because I love chili. And yeah, anyway, if I decide to eat dinner, not too sure yet. Um, I'll see you there. All right. <sighs> dinner for one tonight. Josh is out to dinner with friends. I'm just a loner, as per usual. Um, <laughs> this is the dinner. I'm really not hungry. I don't, I don't know why. I'm usually always so keen for dinner, but yeah, I just wasn't that hungry. So. I've got a little bit of sriracha, sriracha, sriracha sauce and like a little bit of Japanese mayo. That's my only flavoring plus I cooked it with ginger. So this is my dinner. I hope you guys liked watching what I eat, I guess. I think my next video is going to be an assumptions video, although I'm kind of a little bit scared sometimes people are brutal <laughs> and i've watched some of like my favorite youtubers um videos about the assumptions about me yeah and some of them are pretty harsh i don't even know how they answered the questions but anyway 
That's me done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.